Hey everybody, I'm Chris Kiefer with Rival Wild. And I'm Casey Kiefer, and we're at our 2016 Kansas Deer Camp, and we're doing things a little bit differently this year. We're actually setting up a mobile camp. We're joining up with Cabela's, and we've got these mobile tents, these Alaknaks, we got everything going. We're gonna have a couple of different tent setups here at this particular camp, but we wanna to talk to you a little bit about the steps that it takes to get that done first. Yeah, the first thing we did is try and find our footprint. So we basically came up to this area, found a nice flat area where we can get Level the tent. ground. And yep. it took us a minute. I mean, we had to adjust where we're gonna be, kind of have the corners, do all that stuff. And it worked out really good. And then, once we found that, then the first thing we're gonna do is stake out the corners. Yeah, you gotta get the corners staked out. What that's gonna do is provide tension on the tent. It's gonna make sure that everything's tight before you start putting the poles in. So that once you get the poles in and up, the tent's that much tighter. So that's pretty much the most important steps right out of the gate. You gotta start it out right, or it's never gonna work in the long run. So now that we got that going, the next step, put the poles in. Yep. So let's keep moving. Let's do it. So the first thing that we're gonna do with these poles after you get them actually put together is you're gonna walk kind of this big front pole down to the center of the tent. You're gonna put the corners right in the center, clip your top clips onto the actual poles themselves, and then just start working your way down kind of like any other tent clipping them in as you go. So the next step we're gonna do here is take these little uh, the poles that we have right here, feed them through into the corners, and we're just gonna lightly stake out all four corners. And what that does is it'll just give you enough um, kind of height on this thing for you to be able to get in and put that next step, which is gonna be that center pole. So we're just gonna lightly stake these out. There's a key in every corner, and there's grommets on every corner. And of course, you can just Velcro this around uh, just to secure it. And again, it's, you're going to come back and tighten everything once uh, once you do all four corners. But you just kind of do that. Up she goes, and that's it. From there, you're good to go. So now that we got our corner posts up, we got them kind of lightly guyed out. You can see the walls are kind of standing up. So that Chris actually went. He crawled in the other side of the tent. He's in the middle. And now we're going to raise the center poles. Yep. Ready? Yep. Nice and easy. Just like that. So again, frame in the middle, guy out the corners, center poles, and then we'll come back and tighten all this stuff up. So one of the awesome features about these Alacnax is they've actually got an exterior awning over these windows, and it's got a simple design. Basically, you've got the guy out that you're using for the poles, and you've got this little clip right here. And this clip is super simple. All it's gonna do is come down, clip like that, so you slide that in, Slide that in like that. Perfect. And it's gonna help hold these awnings right out. So there you have it. Basically 40 minutes and we've got the Alacnac, the 13 by 27, which is the biggest of the Alacnac series, the Mac Daddy of all tents. Set up and ready to roll. Yeah, we actually chose to put the vestibule on this one too, which has given us an additional 12 foot of space. Yeah. And so this is gonna work really good. I like having this on there because you can store gear in here. We got a little area for firewood once that tent's up. So I'm really yep. excited about it. It's going to work perfect for deer camp. I mean, bringing back hunt camp right now with the Alacnac. Yeah, if you guys are interested in uh, doing the same, check out the Alacnac series from Cabela's.